Shackleton devised Aura Australis as a project that would keep people occupied. When he travelled to the Antarctic on the Nimrod expedition, which ran from 1907 to 1909, on Nimrod, they shipped a printing press, an etching press, ink, a full set of type. And I can't quite believe how they did this during the long winter nights that they managed to produce this really exciting limited edition book. Between 60 and 80 copies were made. And when they brought them back, one of the copies was given to Kipling. And that is the copy that we've done a facsimile of. When you make a facsimile, you have to do your product development to make sure that everything is just right and that it has the same feel as the original does. Hence, I spoke to Paul Kidson at Ludlow Bookbinders, who has made some extraordinary books over his time. And together, we started experimenting. Although we haven't had the challenges of working in sub-zero temperatures in the Antarctic winter, we have faithfully used all the skills that those men used on Ross Island a hundred years ago. This was the first time we were faced with making a binding out of wood. The original is bound in leather with venesta boards. So the venesta boards were taken from the packing crates that took all the provisions to the Antarctic. Ours is a petit pois because it was a petit pois crate trying to get the wood to feel aged, staining, the stenciling, all those things have taken an awful lot of experimentation to get them right. Once the boards have been stenciled and stained, they are attached with a leather spine and the pages are sort of anchored onto those strips. So they've been hand sewn with green cord as they would have been in the Antarctic. I think that it really does feel aged. It, it feels like it would have felt back then. Included with the facsimile is a fascinating commentary volume by Jan Piggott. It's just such a fantastic read. It, it really tells you about the challenges of the people themselves and, and their backgrounds. The book is encased in a salander, which we found in a beautiful natural cloth. Marston, the artist on the expedition, had drawn this beautiful little trademark and we really felt that it needed to be shown elsewhere, so we blind embossed it on a leather label on the front of the salander. It's so elegant. We do a lot of fabulous books at Folio and a lot of fabulous limited editions, but this is one of the most satisfying and challenging projects we've had. I mean, this is truly handwork. There's no part of the production of this that is done by machine. It's all done by hand. It's so different from anything we've ever done, and I'm really, really proud of this book.